Hello everyone and welcome back to Harvest Moon, a wonderful life special edition. This is Showboat, and for me, at the very least, today is, uh... Yeah, today is Thanksgiving, so yay, Thanksgiving. Hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're in the United States. Uh, we're going to... we're going to sleep now. And we should get up at 6 a.m., if not sooner. The alarm goes off at 6 a.m. If we would otherwise sleep past it, uh, it will wake us up. It woke us up. Yay! Ring! All right. She gets up at the same time we do. Yes, we're up early. We'll be greeted by this scene every day. Every day. Yes, yes, yes. Hi. Good morning. We're all getting up at exactly 6 a.m. Let's 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 move on, shall we? Let us move on. We have greeted everyone in the morning. That that counts, right? Because we were we were awake at six. Thank you, alarm clock. Makes sense, because that's the only alarm clock in in the only room in our house where people are sleeping, so... Yeah! That's a thing. That happened. So yeah, it's Thanksgiving. Uh, currently, for me, the, uh... Let's talk to your butt, sure. Currently, for me... Oh, I wanted to milk you, come on. My turkey loaf is in the oven. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, we have grade A. Alright, fine, whatever. One, two, three. Three grade A star cow milk. Hi. I should probably pull her outside and uh, wash her. That might be a thing. Alright, I need to... Uh, do I happen to have, like, fodder on me? Yes, I do. I have been thinking ahead. So it's at this point. No. All right, fine. Whatever. Put in. Hi. Since there's no more mother's milk, we can just give it fodder. Yeah. So that's the thing. That is a thing. And now since we'll actually be shipping items, I, I guess we can finally be able to get attempts at getting the uh, plant dude. Yes, plant dude. That, cause it's Tartan. The, the name finally came to my mind. Plant dude was the... Uh, was the interim name because it it's a plant dude two-headed plant dude but whatever any hoozle today should be like any other in terms of the game I can talk about uh, what I've been up to recently so of course I had yesterday off uh, which for for me it was Wednesday for you was the day the last video went up. Could you could you not? Horse? Could you could you just not ride? So yeah, it was it was the day before Thanksgiving for me. And I mainly relaxed. I did I did a fair bit of recording of Binding of Isaac. I think I recorded like Three videos? I I don't know. I recorded videos, okay? Yesterday, and that was just about it. I spent a fair chunk of time, actually, in uh, on the on the Code Academy website. So Code Academy, I had finished the Python language uh, course uh, a few days ago. Like, 
last like early last week, something like that. Sunday, Monday, I forget. I remember specifically taking like two days off after finishing the Python course uh, before starting up with Ruby. So, yeah, I started Ruby, I think it was on Tuesday evening. And then, yes, Wednesday, yesterday, for me, I did more of it. I'm now, like, halfway. That's what it tell it's telling me. It's telling me I'm about halfway uh, through the Ruby course. It's shorter than Python. Uh, but I've noticed it's go it's going faster because I did the Python course. Like, a lot of the things that it's teaching is just, is how to do the same things that I've done in Python, just how to do it in Ruby. In which case, it's more of a translation than learning it for the first time. Which makes it so much faster. It's like I'm able to draw the connections between what it's wanting me to do from in this Ruby course from the Python course. It's like, oh, so this is what this is in Python. I know how to do this. Let's just format it correctly for Ruby. So that's pretty neat. Something I've noticed. So I should be able to go through and actually complete that course faster than the nine hours it says it's going to take. That's for certain. That's total time spent, like, in the course doing doing the work. I'm pretty sure it's not going to take nine, but uh, we shall we shall see. We shall definitely, definitely see. I don't plan on, like, finishing it today. It is Thanksgiving, after all. I really haven't had plans on doing much of anything besides making my meal, which, uh... As I said, I think the turkey loaf is in the oven. Uh, it has just shy of two hours to uh, to go. Uh, I tend to eat a bit earlier, like having the the, the big meal a bit earlier on Thanksgiving. Uh, there have been years in the past where it's been as early as two o'clock in the afternoon. It's more like a sort of like later lunch type deal and then if you get hungry later on in the day you just essentially have lunch just a sandwich or something but uh yeah so this this year just like these past two years i'm having my my turkey in a pot uh, well thanksgiving in a pot i should say so it's just turkey loaf with gravy just a genio brand turkey loaf with gravy um that takes the longest to cook, and with that, I will make macaroni and cheese. I have a I have a four cheese craft deluxe package that uh, I'll cook up once the uh, turkey loaf is done. Like once it's finished, I'll take it out and set it out to cool. And while it's cooling, I will cook up everything else. So there's the mac and cheese. There's stuffing. There's uh, mashed potatoes, and there's frozen veggies, mixed veggies. All of that, plus the turkey loaf, will go into a single pot. Uh, the pot that I cook the macaroni and cheese in. Uh, of course, I will I will chop up the turkey loaf into little bits so that it uh, can all mix up and blend together. It will blend! All together, and uh, it will be glorious. It will fill the entire pot that I have. Because uh, I have done this twice before. I know for certain it all fits in a single pot. Barely. But it does fit. Oh, I'm on food. Give give me all. Thank you. Ready yet? Give me tools. Yes, tools. Fishing rod! Here we go! And then that'll be my Thanksgiving, quote, dinner. And my dessert, I have pumpkin pie. 
a Marie Callender's pumpkin pie that I had to bake. I baked it last night. It uh, is delicious. And that is currently in my fridge. Tiny Columbo! Hey, buddy! We're friends, right? Hi. Whatever. Fine. Be sad. So yeah, that that's gonna be my my meal for for today. Uh, other than that, I haven't really done too much. Uh, I'll be I'll be completely honest. Uh, I called my mom today because it's Thanksgiving. Uh, we hadn't talked in a while. Last time was her birthday on uh, on May fifth. Yes, my mother's birthday is Cinco de Mayo. That that, that is actually a thing. Um. That's the last time we talked, but we we text each other most of the time, so yeah, we we talked a lot. Uh, it was it was it it was like two hours or more of talking. So my voice it probably won't be all that uh, fantastic sounding today for this video. I called her after recording my Binding of Isaac Afterbirth daily run. Uh, for the day, which is amazing because it's Thanksgiving. They have a they have a special Thanksgiving daily run, you, and uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. It it's pretty fun, especially if you play smartly. I I particularly enjoyed it, and I placed. I was in the I was like one hundred and twenty something uh, on the uh, on the scoreboard when I finished. Of course, I did it relatively early, so I doubt so it won't actually stay that high. It'll it'll go down over the course of the day. But I mean, really, I, that was a pretty high placement in terms of score, and it was also like 580 something by time or something like that. I forget. It was pretty high for me. Pretty high of a ranking. I usually don't rank that high, but I, that was a fun run. I prioritized fun over score and time and yet somehow I did great on both um this better be a shark shark it's a freaking snout seriously freaking snout are you kidding so yeah we talked about various things about plans for when I head home for my vacation, uh, in particular, what, uh, what I'll be doing when I get home for vacation is, uh, I will have to, essentially, I'm going to gut my bedroom. It will have a lot of things that will need to be removed from it. There's at least one piece of furniture in particular that I want to just completely obliterate from my room uh, and then there's a, just a lot of stuff that I need to clean out from in there and there's a lot of boxes that need to be removed just completely um, because I need space in my room to uh, fit the things that I've been collecting here there's a lot of things that I have been collecting here that uh, I will need when I get there. So, the main thing being, I need like a really large width wall space to fit my big bookcase with all of my manga on it. That is one big combo. So, yeah, there's this big bookcase behind me. It, like, barely fits on the wall. It's there. I need to have a space for that when I... When I eventually move back home during the summer. Let's not even get started on what sort of... How we're going to actually move the thing from here halfway across the country to the East Coast. 
let's let's not even start on uh on that conversation. I may just have to destroy it, throw it away, and buy a new one. Uh, the cost of that would be about $167, uh, which is not something I would particularly enjoy having to having to do. Uh, I've got a number of large items that need to come home when I move back, and that even includes my two monitors plus my 50-inch TV and my desktop and my chair. And then there's the bookcases. There's also I also have a uh, 21 and a half inch uh, t uh, monitor, the my old my really old 1080p Alienware Optex monitor, 21 and a half inches uh, TN panel. It cost at the time like $300. Something like that, and uh, yeah, it's like f six years old, five or six, I forget exactly how old it is. It's older than like my first desktop, which was early 2011. It's older than that, and it still technically works. Uh, the screen though has faded and like yellowed with time, so I don't really care to use it anymore even though it's functional it the quality is not as good as it used to be so i may just end up throwing that away i also have this really small like 19 inch tv that i might just throw away to not have with me but it's functional the only problem is trying to sell the thing and be white like what 15 20 dollars to sell the thing no just screw it. Um, I have this. I have an. I have my old forty-inch TV. That's an Element brand that would sell for probably like a hundred dollars. Um, but the thing is, it's a it's a forty-inch TV. How am I gonna How am I gonna sell a forty-inch TV when I don't have a car to take it anywhere? Someone would have to come here. Like, listed on Craigslist or something. And they'd have to physically come here to pick it up. But it's something else that I'd have to get rid of before I move out. I'd also get rid of my um, mini-fridge. I won't take that back with me. But uh, there's, there's a lot of things that I do want to take back with me. That includes the entirety of my manga collection itself, as well as all of my amiibo uh, themselves, like, the Amiibo, though, they can all go in, like, one larger box. I may have a lot of Amiibo, like, over 90 or something like that. I, I don't know the exact count. There's a lot of Amiibo, but they can all still fit in, like, one rather large box. The manga, though, oh, no, 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 though, that won't go into a single box. That would be one rather large and heavy box if it all went into one. I think my mother will want me to ship the manga. The problem with that is that there's so much in there that... And there's, it's so heavy that in order to make it cost-effective, I would need to use larger boxes. The problem is I would have to carry those larger boxes to the post office to ship them. That is, of course, unless we ship them when she comes here and I and can drive me to the post office before we physically leave to head home. And they the boxes would just be, like, waiting at the post office when I get back. She can put a hold on the... on mail, and they'll just wait at the post office for me, just have a few boxes of my manga just sitting there, and my, and of course my actual books, because I say that I have all this manga and light novels, I have a separate bookcase in my closet with actual books in it, like large table 
size books like coffee table books and player's guides, including the hardcover Skyrim Legendary Edition player's guide, as as well as the Oblivion and Morrowind player's guides, and uh, like actual novels are in there as well. It's just, there's a lot of things, a lot of things that are heavy that will likely be shipped. But electronic things, those aren't going to get shipped. Just just saying, I'm not shipping electronic things halfway across the country. The book's fine, but not not the electronic things. Those I value too highly. I value them way too highly. I need to uh, stop fishing after this fish to uh, feed the... Feed the cows... Please be a shark shark. Please be a shark shark. That's not a shark shark. That's a snelt. Oh, wells. So anyway, I need to like clean out space both in my bedroom at home and in the, well, the office, I should say, the third bedroom where we currently have a, uh, a desk that won't actually be able to fit my computer plus two monitors, let alone the, uh, the 50-inch TV that I use as a third monitor. You would think by now that she would be producing S-quality milk. Why is she producing B-quality milk? All right, remind me tomorrow. I really have to uh, wash her because that is a uh, reduction to her happiness, her overall happiness. I need to wash her. I should probably start brushing her too, let's be completely honest. It's like, money, give me money. Give me seven units of your milk. Oh, there's already fodder inside. Hi! I don't know if you still want mother's milk. I do hope not. Because you're not going to get any more. I don't have any more. I fed it all to you. Already. We get to ship milk today! Realistically, we should wait for Van and sell it to Van, but... I sort of need tartan to arrive, so I'm just going to be shipping stuff until I get tartan. Then I can hold on to it. Because if I want access to the third field and therefore access to all the really good tools, uh, I need to get tartan. And uh, yeah, we, we don't have him yet. Now if I go inside, if it gives me tartan now, I will be... Very upset. Okay, he's not here yet. Cool. So yeah, we had conversations about that. I sort of also want to like replace the desk that's at home with uh, something with a lot more real estate, shall we say? Both on top of and under the desk. But I don't, I don't think that's really gonna happen. It's too early. It is too early to be going to bed. What else can I do? I can talk. That's what I can do. Um, so yeah, we had conversations about that. And we also had conversations about uh, like the actual holidays. So uh, considering it's Black Friday, the day this video goes up, I can mention that. Um, we need new phones. Uh, our two years is up for our droid DNA phones, and their battery life is non-existent on both of our phones after two years. So we need to replace the phones. It, it's we, just, we, we have to replace the phones. We cannot go on with how beaten, battered, 
bruised that these phones have uh, gone through, as well as the now horrendous battery life that they have. So we're considering uh, getting iPhones this time around. Uh, quote, upgrading to iPhones. Uh, we're not going to get the 6S. We are not going to get 6S. That's not going to happen. We are going to get iPhone 6 phones. And, uh, yeah, we shall see how that uh, plays out. The Droid DNAs are, are the same size as the 6 Plus. So it's a downsize in size. And I think the 6 has a lower resolution screen. <laughs> Half the memory, like system RAM. And a dual core processor instead of a quad core processor. But that ultimately doesn't really make too much of a difference. Even though the clock rate is slower. Because we're talking two different architectures of processors. I would need to see benchmarks of the two compared against each other before making any sort of judgment on whether one is faster than the other. The 6 is uh, x64 capable though, which is uh, better. So we shall see. Much better like camera options, video pr options, stuff like that, what you expect from an iPhone, but yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna try the iPhone thing. Uh, the upgrade cost is a hundred per phone. For a two-year contract. Much better than 200 per phone for a 6S, 300 per phone for a 6S Plus, or 200 for a 6 Plus. Yes, that's right. The 6 Plus and the 6S are the same price for two-year contracts. That is not okay under any stretch of the imagination. Um... Yeah, we are done saving, and with that, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Showboat on Thanksgiving. Hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate it. And I shall see you all on the next one. <laughs>